What do Tesla, Palantir, SpaceX, Yelp, YouTube, and LinkedIn all have in common? Besides being modern tech companies, they were all founded by employees of another incredibly successful tech startup, PayPal. The names of these companies are so ubiquitous that it's challenging to imagine our online world without these services. The 13 members of the Mafia together form the richest group of men to emerge from Silicon Valley, with a total net worth of billions of dollars. With so many successful businessmen getting their start at PayPal, what was so special about the company that projected these men into unbelievable riches? Let's take a deep dive into the history of the company. PayPal originally started out as Confinity Inc., which was founded by four men, Ken Howery, Luke Nosek, Max Lefchin, and Peter Thiel in 1998. Originally focused on security for phones and other handhelds, Confinity switched its business model to a digital wallet due to lack of success. The PayPal app was launched in 1999. PayPal gained some immediate success on eBay, offering a convenient way to transfer money between sellers and buyers, but they weren't without their competition. X.com, one of the world's first online banks, was also vying for market share of the online payment ecosystem. The company was founded by Elon Musk and his mentor Greg Corey, and Musk was the CEO. X.com and Confinity were locked in a fierce battle for new customers. To attract new users, Confinity started offering a $10 sign-up bonus and a $10 referral bonus, which was quickly leapfrogged by X.com's $20 sign-up bonus and a $20 referral bonus. Both companies soon realized that if they kept up their competitive business tactics, they would both be run out of business due to a limited supply of funds for the bonuses. Seeing the writing on the wall, they opened a dialogue and soon came to an agreement for a merger with a new company keeping the name X.com. Since Musk was the largest shareholder after the merger, he was appointed as the CEO. But Musk's term as the CEO was short-lived. After announcing that X.com would stop all of its other operations to focus on PayPal in October 2000, Musk was replaced by Peter Thiel. The company was also renamed PayPal in 2001 before going public in 2002. The IPO was a success, generating over $61 million. The IPO of PayPal generated so much interest that they were soon acquired by eBay later that year. Now that we know a little bit about the history of PayPal, let's take a look at some of the most well-known brands in tech today and learn about their founders, many of whom got their start at PayPal. YouTube. YouTube was founded by three PayPal alumni, Jawad Karim, Chad Hurley, and Steve Chen. Karim was a software engineer who focused on building PayPal's anti-fraud system while he was there. He was greatly involved in the early stages of YouTube, but left when he decided to continue his studies at Stanford. Chad Hurley was the first CEO of YouTube, and during his time at PayPal, he is most notably recognized as the designer of the original PayPal logo. Steve Chen is well known as having funded the early days of YouTube when the company racked up huge debts on his personal credit cards. Chen was instrumental in the final sale of YouTube to Google, which sold for $1.65 billion, just 20 months after the company got its start. That great deal left Chen with $326 million in Google stock. Hurley made out with $345.6 million and stayed on as YouTube CEO after the purchase. Kareem received a smaller share due to the fact that he left the company to study, but he is still sitting pretty at a cool $64.6 million. Yelp. Yelp was born out of the minds of two PayPal alumni who didn't walk away from the sale to eBay with large earnings. Jeremy Stoppelman and Russell Simmons were both developing ideas in the incubator of PayPal's former CTO, Max Levchin. It was there that they came up with the idea for Yelp. Stoppelman reportedly was inspired by the fact that he had a challenging time finding good doctor recommendations. Unlike YouTube, Yelp rejected a buyout from Google, reportedly after Steve Jobs convinced Stoppelman not to take the deal. Stoppelman's fortune is estimated at somewhere between $111 and $222 million, while it's near impossible to find the net worth of his business partner, Simmons. Yammer Yammer is an enterprise social networking service originally developed by former PayPal chief operating officer David O'Sax. It was developed by him as an internal project when he was working at a different company he founded called Genie.com. Sachs launched the product as an independent service when he showcased it at TechCrunch 50, 
and from there the project grew to be a huge service. Yammer was eventually purchased by Microsoft for $1.2 billion in 2012. But Yammer and Genie.com weren't the only achievements of Saks. He also produced and financed the 2005 movie Thank You For Smoking, which made $39 million worldwide. I get paid to talk. What do you talk about? I speak on behalf of cigarettes. My mommy says that cigarettes kill. Now, is your mommy a doctor? No. Well, she doesn't exactly sound like a credible expert now, does she? How much is Saks worth after all the success? Unfortunately for us, he hasn't disclosed. LinkedIn. Almost immediately after the buyout from eBay, Executive Vice President Reid Hoffman went on to form LinkedIn in December 2002. Another member of the Mafia, Keith Raboy, joined the company in 2005 as its Vice President of Business and Corporate Development. LinkedIn had a rocky start in the company's development, as it wasn't profitable until 2006, nearly four years after its inception. But after that, it quickly skyrocketed to become one of Silicon Valley's most successful startups. It IPO'd in 2011 at a share price of $45, and during the first day of trading, the stock rose 109%, closing at $93.25 per share. In 2016, LinkedIn was acquired by Microsoft for a total valuation of $26.2 billion. As a result of this success, Reid Hoffman's net worth cites around $3.9 billion. Keith Raboy's net worth, which doesn't come solely from LinkedIn, is estimated at $1 billion. Tesla. Unlike the other companies in this list, Tesla wasn't founded by a PayPal alumnus. Instead, Elon Musk took a very active role in the funding of the company, acting as an early stage investor when the company held its Series A funding round. He also took an active role in the process for the company's Series B and C rounds as well. He finally became the CEO of the company in 2008 after investing even more of his own money into the company. Musk has reportedly said that he didn't want to be the CEO of Tesla. We'll get into Musk's net worth after we talk about another great company that he's been involved in. SpaceX. SpaceX actually was founded by Musk in 2002, after he failed to procure the rockets he was planning on purchasing in Russia to be used to put plant life on Mars. After he couldn't find any affordable spacecraft, he realized he'd have to do it himself by starting a company that could produce them in an affordable way. The company has grown rapidly. In 18 years, the company sits at nearly 8,000 employees, and has had over 100 launches of the rockets that they've developed. They have also consistently worked with the US government and commercial vendors, and it's safe to say that SpaceX has revolutionized the space industry. For his efforts, Musk's current net worth is estimated at $9.7 billion. Palantir. After the buyout from eBay, Palantir founder Peter Thiel walked away with an estimated $55 million. Using that money, Thiel founded Palantir, at which he hoped to apply some of PayPal's anti-fraud concepts to reduce terrorism while preserving civil liberties. Initially, the company struggled to find investors, and was originally only funded by the CIA with a meager $2 million, and by Thiel himself, who invested more than $30 million of his own fortune into the company. However, investors could not have been more wrong about Palantir's future. After several successes, notably the uncovering of GhostNet and the Shadow Network, Palantir started to gain traction. Palantir now has a large customer in the US government and is estimated at a valuation of $15 billion. Thiel himself is estimated at a net worth of $2.2 billion. As you can see, in the world of business and tech, great minds truly do tend to congregate around great ideas. I like sitting next to you, Sean. It makes me look so tough. Maybe the recruiters and interviewers at PayPal were just truly gifted at finding top talent. More likely, however, the culture at PayPal nurtured the entrepreneurial spirit in all of its employees. As shown in a lot of these examples, it also helps to have a team of brilliant co-founders to help kickstart a new idea. We hope that learning the history of the PayPal Mafia will help inspire you to get out there and start working on your next big idea. Just as it's claimed that around 16 million people can claim to be descended from Genghis Khan, it seems that most of the internet can trace its lineage back to PayPal. If you want to watch a video, get a book accommodation, find a job, or even read about the mission to put the first humans on Mars, the chances of a former PayPal associate being behind it are very high indeed.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We make business related video essays like this every week. So if you're interested in entrepreneurship, business and startups, like this video and subscribe to this channel.